Thank you to uh, the social worker, Megan at uh, Agape, a uh, hospice who helped me to uh, understand how to help my daughters uh, with dying. So I would love to read you this beautiful book, The Gentle Willow, a story, a story for children about dying. It was the time of spring once again, when all the flowers bloomed their brightest colours. It had been a long time since the big storm came through the forest, where Little Tree and her friend Amanda lived and played. Since that time, many new friends had come to live in the forest. Little Tree and Amanda, especially like Gentle Willow, who lived across the pond. Each day, as the sun rose in the east, Little Tree rustled her leaves and sang good morning to her friends. Each day, Gentle Willow invited the wind to blow through her branches, creating a sound like crystal chimes to say good morning back. Amanda liked playing with Gentle Willow. Her new friend gave her places to store her nuts. Amanda also liked to chase the big yellow butterflies who danced within Gentle Willow's long and graceful branches. One day, while Amanda was climbing up the trunk of Gentle Willow, she noticed that her friend looked different. Her bark was lumpy and bumpy, her leaves were turning brown, and her branches were droopy. What is wrong, Gentle Willow? asked Amanda. I don't know, whispered Gentle Willow. I just feel different. Don't worry, said Amanda. Tomorrow you will feel better. But many tomorrows came, and Gentle Willow still did not feel better. Amanda was worried. She ran around the pond and told Little Tree about their friend. Remember when the big storm came and I was hurt? asked Little Tree. Yes, cried Amanda. And fix em up and Imogene came and fixed your broken branches. I'll go get them. Maybe they can help Gentle Willow, too. The two tree wizards came at Amanda's call. Fix em up checked Gentle Willow's branches and her lumpy, bumpy bark. Imogene looked closely at her roots. Amanda stayed close. The butterflies danced all around Gentle Willow, while Little Tree watched from across the pond. After all the checking, Imogene and fix em up went to the knowing rock by the pond to talk. Amanda followed. What is wrong with Gentle Willow? she asked. Your friend's hurt is different from the hurt Little Tree had because of the storm, said fix em up Gentle Willow has something we have seen before in the forest, but we cannot make it go away. What do you mean? Amanda yelled. You have to help Gentle Willow. You have to make her better. You are the tree wizards of the forest. Yes, said Imogene sadly. We are tree wizards. But there are some things even tree wizards cannot fix. We can give Gentle Willow tree sap to help her feel stronger. We can give her herbs to help her feel comfortable. But we cannot make her all better. What will happen to her? asked Amanda. Gentle Willow will look different as time goes by, said Imogene. She will need all of our help every day. We can sing her songs and tell her stories. Each of our songs and each of our stories will help her feel a special medicine called love. Amanda, fix em up and Imogene went together to tell Little Tree about Gentle Willow. We are losing our friend cried Little Tree. What will we do without her? You are right, Little Tree, said Imogene. You won't know or see Gentle Willow as you know her now. She is going on a journey of changing forms. Human people call it dying, but all the years you have known Gentle Willow, she has been giving you special gifts. Gifts? asked Amanda and Little Tree. Yes, special gifts called memories. Memories of her crystal chimes, memories of waving good morning, 
memories of laughing with the wind, memories of special times you share, you've shared together. The time will come when all of us who live in the forest will sing a special song to say goodbye to Gentle Willow, as we know her today. And the time will come when we will recognize her in another way. Maybe it will be in a song from the wind. Maybe it will be in the dance of the butterflies. I don't know. But each of you will know in your own special way. Every day, Little Tree looked across the pond and rustled her leaves to sing songs to Gentle Willow. And every day, Amanda visited and told her stories. One day, while Amanda was visiting, Gentle Willow began to cry. I'm afraid to change. I want to stay the way I am. I want to stay a tree. Not knowing how to help her friend, Amanda sat quietly. She just listened and stayed close while Gentle Willow wept. Then Amanda remembered about songs and stories. And love. As she was trying to think of a good story, one of the big yellow butterflies fluttered by. Amanda snuggled closer to Gentle Willow and began her story. Once, a long time ago, when Yellow Butterfly was little, she was something called a caterpillar. She was fuzzy and long and crawled on the ground over rocks and flowers. After a while, Yellow Butterfly felt something inside her changing, but she did not know what the change would be. She grew tired and needed to rest. That is how she came to you, Gentle Willow. She needed a branch to rest upon. Butterfly began to spin a warm blanket around herself. Inside of the blanket it was very dark. Yellow Butterfly felt her whole fuzzy caterpillar self-changing shape. After what seemed a very long time, she felt ready to come out of the blanket. She did not want to be in that darkness anymore. So using all her strength, Yellow Butterfly pushed herself out into the light. And there she was, not crawling on the ground anymore, not a fuzzy caterpillar anymore. Instead, she had silken yellow wings. Her f whole form had changed, and as she flew, she found all the other butterflies just like herself. When Amanda finished the story, she noticed that gentle Willow had stopped crying. She seemed to be smiling a quiet understanding. It was the time of spring once again, when all the flowers bloomed their brightest colors. Little Tree and Amanda looked across the pond to the place where gentle Willow once stood. Look, said Little Tree. The big yellow butterflies have come back to dance. Yes, said Amanda. Perhaps in a different way, they still hear the songs of our friend, Gentle Willow. Hmm.